In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the line width using the width tool as well as the properties. So to adjust the line width, we need a couple of lines, which really is just anything with a stroke. So I can make that with the pen tool. I could set up a shape or I could even just use the segment tool as long as I make sure that the segment has a stroke. So the first and the most simple way is by adjusting the properties at the top or the properties on the right. When we go to the stroke, we have generally the stroke size and it generally it comes uniform. So I'm going to raise this up to eight so we can actually see like, you know, the sharp edges of this, but click on the width profile, I can change a variety of things. I can make this go from thick to thin, and I can do the same for any other shape. So if I make this a lot larger uh, so that we can see, and then I can have this oscillate if we want to, or if I come over here under stroke, we can see that it has a little dotted line. That dotted line is telling us that there are more options, and I can play around with those options as well, such as the profile of this. Right now, that's kind of small, so we'll make it a lot larger. So we can see we can adjust the line width through the properties. Now, there's another tool that will allow us to adjust this more manually and give us more control, which is the line width tool. The line width tool is quick keyed to shift W. And when I click and drag on a path, it will give me these anchors that'll stretch this out. And I can do this in a variety of different places. I can move these places once I have structured them and I can rechange them if I need to. So the line width tool can adjust it from the cap as uh, well as any part uh, in the center. So that gives us a lot more freedom to change these lines up to create a variety of different shapes and sizes. One final thing to note that if I, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, I'm going to raise up the line width, we can see that the line width is stretching out 25 points from the stroke itself. And if I come to the appearances in the properties palette, go to the stroke, there is a couple other things that are helpful, such as changing how it associates with the cap, whether it rounds it off, whether it's square, whether it comes away, as well as aligning the stroke. Now, notice that things are grayed out. If I change that to uniform again, and we can see still stretching out from 25 from the center, uh, I can change it so that it's on the inside or on the outside of that pathway. So some other things that we can play around with, as well as playing around with a dashed line. But these don't always work with the ability to change the profile. Um, and trying to change it with the line width tool might not might not function the way that we are we want it to and while i'm like trying to change it it says it would but it doesn't really doesn't really add it so got to play around with things so that is adjusting the line width using the properties as well as the line width tool